Do one last burnout. Hot wheels look amazing. Alright, so we got Playboy back from the alignment shop. He seems to be running much, much straighter now. Having some kind of a weird issue with the fuel though. As I give it gas, it wants to cut out. See that? I don't know if you guys are hearing that or not. Really weird. As I give it gas, it's just cutting in and out like that. Super strange. So we're gonna have to dig into that, but we are doing fuel injection. So uh, I think we'll take care of that problem. Pull up to the shop. That's another issue. These damn windshield wipers won't shut off. But that's all right. We're at the shop. Gonna make it happen. Fuel injection time. Better burnouts. Chuck's got a few different unique things we want to talk about. And we're gonna do a few burnouts in it, how it is now, and then afterwards. So you can kind of see uh, what big difference the fuel injection did. But check out these really, really interesting things about this particular motor. All right, so here we have either a 305 or a 350. We're not 100% sure what's going on here because on this side, see this exhaust manifold right there? It's from a 305. But on this side, you see this exhaust manifold? How it's cut open, it's a little different. That's from a 350. So either one of those could work. But also, you look at the balancer down there. The balancer is a large balancer which generally those come on a 350, but they can also go on a 305. So without looking up at the numbers, we really don't know if this is a 305 or a 350. What do you guys think? How do you like that uh, vacuum fix there? You got some sticks, with that little screw in to stop the vacuum, pretty cute. Either way, we're gonna take all this out. We're doing that Edelbrock Pro Flow kit. We'll find out if it's a 350 or a 305, but you guys let us know what you think. There used to be an electric fuel pump in there, but it's manual now. And uh, kind of a unique setup. All right, before fuel injection burnouts, that carburetor start up. Not fun. All right, so what do you guys think? Is this thing gonna do burnouts? Fuel doors off, because we got it at the paint shop matching the color. The ultimate test. Burnout before <laughs> fuel <laughs> Left a mark. Only one though. I think we need a pause rear end. But hey, it did a burnout, so that's pretty good. I think it'll do a better one afterwards. It looked great. Yep. Did pretty good. Alright, time to tear it apart. Now right, we're gonna drop this bed, take this bed off. I'll set you guys up right here so you can follow along. I know you like hanging out in the garage with us. Bed is off. We can do this fuel system. Got the bed off. Used our bed lift, even though you guys think you're cool enough to lift it yourselves. That was your one last burnout. You see how cool that suspension works while it's cruising. How about that Chevelle? How about that square body? 
Street Trucks Garage, we do it all, not just trucks. You guys remember the Tesla. Into the shop. Got to put it on his diaper because the rear end leaks. Yucko. Man, oh man, talk about nasty. Damn. Wasn't even connected. No, they were using the return as the feed. So we're gonna remove this whole piece intake manifold. Mm -hmm. And we'll remove this super fancy uh, mm -hmm. pipe yep. right there. All right, so when I got this truck, it had an HEI distributor. We see we just pulled that off, but we got to replace that with a standard coil and a coil bracket. And the distributor that came with the kit. Yeah, the distributor came with the kit, so we don't have to handle that. Do they still have the college? all this fuel system out this or electric fuel pump that was in there but not hooked up we're gonna take that out take out this fuel hose and this fuel filter this mechanical pressure switch and gauge get rid of all this stuff and we're gonna take this fuel pump off so we're gonna have to get a plate a blocking plate for there all right old fuel system is out Fuel pump out. So we just got to get a fuel pump block for that. We'll grab that from the parts store. All right, so now that we got the valve covers off and <clears throat> intake off, we're going to figure out if this is a 305 or a 350. So if you see right here, this number kind of upside down, but 333882, search that online, that's a Chevy 350. So we know we got a 350 small block. At least the heads, at least the heads. So that answers one question. If you remember from the previous video, we got the air cleaner and the valve covers from Edelbrock. We got our sending unit and ignition coil from the local auto parts store. So now that we have the intake on, tighten down. 
them. Go ahead and put on those valve covers. Alright, so now is everybody's favorite fun part. Wiring. Luckily this Edelbrock setup is real, real trick. It's got all your labels on it. Sensor injectors. It's got all the different injectors labeled. So we're going to go off that. Fuel pump labeled. Everything's pretty solid. Alright, so what we want to do here is first we're going to figure out where we're going to mount the brain. Based on this plug setup. R1. We're going to take that to injector number one. Or two. So the first one we got, we're going to work with map sensor. Map sensor. So that is right here. So put that one in. That. TPS sensor, throttle position, so that's going to be right here. Alright, so we're gonna we got this first valve cover in from Edelbrock. We're gonna change out this other one. It's storming, so you might not be able to hear me, but all you gotta do is watch. I've already unbolted this one, so we're gonna slip this one out. Alright, so Edelbrock also sent an air breather with these valve covers. That side's gonna have a vacuum on it, but this side's gonna have air breather. So uh, we'll pop this thing off. And then we'll do the satisfying piece. Pulling off the plastic. All right, so we're gonna do the fuel pump block off plate. Since we have an electric fuel pump now, we do not need the factory one. All right, got the block off plate set. We got the air cleaner, Edelbrock air cleaner. It's gonna look really, really good on here. But in order to get it, we have to have our air temperature sensor. So we're gonna pop this around, drill a three quarter inch hole, put in the sensor, clip it on, mount it back on. sensor in there. We should mount our intake up. In this case they're pain. <laughs> Threaded. Stud. So is the official startup, timing's right, idle speed's right, I think we're good to go. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Alright. Mission accomplished, Elbrock Pro Flow system installed. Project Playboy next. I'm gonna work on these brakes. Alright, time for some brakes. Got the old stuff off. Brand new HD heavy duty cross drill slotted rotors. Our new calipers from Performance Online. We got the front all done, buttoned up, got our calipers on, brake pads in.
Rear disc brake conversion complete. 88 to 98. Performance online. Brake's looking good. It is complete. Check that out. Beautiful setup. Performance online, disc brake conversion, 88 to 98, with some shot wheels, some Ride Tech suspension. This is a sweet, sweet setup. Very excited to go cruise on this. Let us know what you guys think. All right, we're all set. We just backed it out. Truck's looking killer, running great. Those brakes behind those shot wheels look amazing. Time to bolt this bed back on and go cruise. What do you guys think? Let me know. I think the stance is perfect. I think those brakes are perfect. I'm really happy with the setup. The suspension is really, really cool. Wishbone coilovers. Triangulated four link basically works with the front leaf spring mount. It's pretty cool. All right. Project Playboy, it's time to put this bed back on and get it over to the paint shop. asking about that that's a bed lift buy one makes your day a lot easier as long as you got a forklift you got a forklift and a dave get one of these if not grab your buddies like the guy in the comments all right let's bolt this thing up